Okay, welcome back to the kitchen. Um, today I want to talk to you a little bit about preserving some things out of the garden. Now a lot of times we think of preservation as being the time like in the summer when tomatoes come on or the fall when we have to get out and pick stuff before the last frost. But actually preserving stuff can start as early as right now in April. Um, I was actually going to make some ranch dressing and I realized that I was getting a little bit low on my ranch dressing seasoning that I make myself. And one of the things that is required to make that are dry, dried chives. Um, so I thought, well, I better go get my chives picked um, because right now they are amazing and they're big and they're ready to go. And when I cut them down, they have plenty of time to uh, grow and, and sprout out again and I'll have several crops of those. Um, you can see the blooms here are in them. They're blooming. They're just beautiful out there. I'm going to pull the blooms out and I will put those in a bouquet. You can put blooms in salads. Uh, you can cook with them. That's all fine too but for today I um, we're kind of short I, actually on flowers. I do have some iris I want to show you out in the garden that are blooming beautiful. I have a black iris uh, that I'll show you but for right now I'm going to um, take the blooms and I will use those for a bouquet. So how we're going to do this is any brown ends or anything that look kind of dead we're going to snip off. I'm just going to use the scissors and cut these. Here's another bloom. Uh, and just cut these into very small pieces and put them on my dehydrator sheets. Um, that's the easiest way to do it, but just using the scissors to chop these is a real easy way to do it. So I'm going to cut these pretty small because when I do my ranch seasoning, I mean I use these for other things as well. You can use them in making soups and stuff, but I like pretty small pieces and then of course when they dehydrate they'll get even a little bit smaller so I'm going to cut these down and I will fill a dehydrator tray. When um, putting these on the dehydrator tray you want to put them kind of scant and not have them piled on top of each other so they can dehydrate evenly. This is one of my favorite things to dehydrate though. Uh, of course I do cilantro and several things, herbs. But this is the time of year to, to dry your herbs. Um, spring is, a, is better. The flavor is nice. It's mild. Um, and then anytime you pick your herbs, if you can pick them in the morning before they're out in the hot sun. Of course, today we have rain, so we don't have a hot sun. But anytime you can pick them in the morning, the flavor will be better than if you wait until the late afternoon. Okay, so I have these cut up and we're going to move them to the dehydrator tray and spread them out on there pretty thin. Looks like I have room for a few more. I'm going to keep cutting and I'll be back when I get them all cut up. All right, welcome back. I've got all these cut up and put on my dehydrator trays. And the next thing we're going to do, you can see that they're pretty sparse um, so that they dry out evenly. I don't want to pile a bunch of herbs on there and then have some of it dry and some of it not. So um, this is about how I like to do it. I have two trays of them and I will meet you at the dehydrator. All right, we're going to put our trays in. Um, Sometimes if my herbs are rather fluffy, I take out trays and then I'll only put them in every other one so it gives them a little room so they don't knock into each other or drag herbs off as I'm, uh, as I'm putting them in. I have my dehydrator set at 105 degrees. That's what you need for drying uh, delicate herbs like this. And then I'm going to time it myself. I will just check them. So I'm going to turn on my timer and... It'll, they'll start drying pretty quickly, so we'll come back and check them out. Thanks. Alright, welcome back. It's been about six hours now, 
And I want to show you where we're at. Ooh, these are very light, so the blower can uh, blows them out. Let me pull out the tray. So I'm going to turn that off, and you can hear me better anyway. But here is our chives, and they're almost done. They're pretty crunchy. You'll want them crunchy. And as soon as you finish with these, you will want to put them in an airtight container as soon as they're completely dry and they'll store that way really nice until you need them in the winter or until you want to make your salad dressing. Um, stay tuned for the upcoming recipe for the salad dressing because I'm going to uh, do that here and I'm going to make the ranch dressing so you can see in one way you can use these but you can top potatoes with these and all kinds of things. So thanks.